Good morning YouTubians, it's Kermit's Ghost. It's Monday the 6th of March 2023. As you can see, I'm on the seafront in Hove. Gonna head up into Brighton city centre in a minute, go to HMV. A lot of titles out today on this Blu-ray hunting Monday and I'm after four titles, so hopefully they'll have them in stock. Gonna go and grab a coffee from somewhere. And I've also got some subscriber mail to show you as well. And before I forget, my daughter went to Germany a couple of weeks ago and she bought me back 20 films and she filmed some stuff as well. So. I may compile that into a video and put it up maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. So let's stop waffling, head up to town and see what's on the shelves of HMV. I'll see you in a bit. So here I am in Costa and it's the most important purchase of the day, an Arabica bean latte. Did you know that 60% of coffee beans produced in the world are Arabica beans and it was the first bean to be cultivated and originated from Yemen. So with my coffee consumed, it's time to peruse HMV, looking for the four titles I'm after. Quite busy in here today by the time I left, there was lots of customers. Now the manager mentioned to me that there were some new indicator titles which are now available on the HMV website. So the first title to show you is Violent Night, starring David Arbor and John Legazamo. It's an action comedy from the director Tommy Rucola. It's put out by the Universal Studios label. Blu-ray is $14.99, DVD is $9.99. And I just wanted to point out another film that's not getting a Blu-ray release over here. It's She Said, starring Kerry Mulligan, Samantha Morton and Ashley Judd. It's only available on DVD in the UK and it's $9.99. Okay, so the US World box set came out today. It's got four seasons and a total runtime of 2,184 minutes. This is from Warner Brothers. Absolutely brilliant show. $59.99 for the Blu-ray set or 10 or cheaper if you want to go down the DVD route. Those spider hubs are a little bit tight, but they have been experiencing a lot of theft lately in the store. Season 3 of The Boys next, this time from Sony Pictures. This has got an 18 certificate and that is warranted given the contents of the show. It stars Carl Urban and Anthony Starr. $21.99 for the Blu-ray, $17.99 for the DVD, so not much in it I'd say. A couple of releases from Signal 1 Entertainment next and both are Jerry Lewis films. First one is Rocker by Baby from 1958. This is priced at $12.99 and it would cost you £15.12 on Amazon, so stick with HMV today. And the other title is Who's Minding the Store from 1963. It's got a runtime of 90 minutes. And alongside Jerry, it stars Jill St. John. $12.99 for this one too. Next is an Arrow release of the horror mystery flick called The House That Screamed, a.k.a. The Boarding School. Two cuts of this movie with a total runtime of 105 minutes. And this is going to set you back $17.99. In the 4K section now, and they have Rocky II from Warner Brothers. This was made in 1979. It's an excellent movie. Written, directed and starring Sylvester Stallone. Comes with a Blu-ray and a glossy slip and is priced at $19.99. Next is the third window film's release of Electric Dragon 80,000 V, a science fiction action fantasy from 2001. It's about an electrically charged boxer fighting an electronic wizard merged with a Buddha. Of course. Next is a Peccadillo Pictures release of Lonesome. This is a drama from last year. This was written, produced and directed by Craig Borman and has an 18 certificate. So next and last in HMV today is Wreck. This is a Dazzler Media release. It's a horror comedy from last year. It's a British TV show and you can expect the second season to air this year. $19.99 for this one. Hey everybody, welcome back. So I've got some subscriber mail, three films and a TV show to show you. So let's crack on with it. Okay, first thing to show you is the subscriber mail. I know it's from because his name is on the parcel for one and also because he messaged me as well. It's from Phil 4K Baker. Now, Phil has sent me many things over the years. He's extremely kind. You know, it always astonishes me how generous you are as a collective. Anyway, I'm going to open this one up now. Take a look inside. There may be a note, may not be. If it is, I'll read it, put it up in the corner. And if I'm unfamiliar with the titles, then what I'll do, I'll go do a little bit of research on them, come back and talk about them. Okay, there is a note inside, handwritten note, I'll pull it up in the corner, read along with me, it says, Hi Alan, as promised, a couple of Blu-rays for you to enjoy, so good to see you back on YouTube, keep up the videos, they are awesome, Phil 4K. Thank you Phil, it's always nice to know, my videos are appreciated, let's crack on and see what he's put inside this. Okay, I'm going to put them both out together, Hi, oh, you really put them in there, lots of bubble wrap. Okay, there is The Alienist Angel of Darkness. Don't know about that one. And Adam Resurrected as well. So what I'll do, I'll go and have a quick read up on these so I can give you a bit of insight and then I'll pop back. 
Okay, now both of these titles sound absolutely brilliant. I'm going to say that first of all. First one I'm going to talk about is Alienist Angel of Darkness, Season 2. It's a Warner Brothers release from 2020. It stars Daniel Ball as Dr. Laszlo Chrysler. Now, he's called upon by the then police commissioner, Theodore Roosevelt, and that would actually correspond with the dates that he was commissioner, set in 1896. He was appointed in uh, May 1895 through to April 1897, some four years before becoming the youngest elected president of the United States. Anyway, Brian Garrity is playing the young Theodore Roosevelt, and it's Laszlo who's called upon to give insight to a spate of grisly murders in New York City. Oh, it also stars Dakota Fanning as well as Sarah Howard. She's secretary to the then Theodore Roosevelt, and she was the first woman to be employed by the New York Police Department. Now, her character is supposedly based on a real-life person, Isabel Goodwin, loosely, I'd say. But in this season, I know that she leaves and becomes a private detective, and she starts her own company. This show sounds absolutely awesome. Can't wait to pick up season one. There were only two seasons made, so the first season I'm going to have to import from Australia because the American one is region-locked. Now, this has got a runtime of 391 minutes. Let's open it up and take a look inside. So Phil has put a protective covering on this. Let's take it out of there. The slip box and the cover have exactly the same image. There are two discs and an episode guide. So that was the alienist Angel of Darkness. Okay, the other title Phil so graciously sent me is Adam Resurrected. This is a drama from 2008 and it stars Jeff Goldblum as Adam Stein. Now this film is set in a mental institution in Israel in 1960 and it deals with patients who have been subjected to the German concentration camps. Adam, who was previously an entertainer in Berlin, is instantly recognised by the concentration camp leader, William Defoe's character, Commandant Klein. Adam is ordered to act like his dog for entertainment, and so obviously Adam's going to go along with this in order to protect himself and his family from a certain death. Commandant Klein keeps Adam as his pet for a year and a half, and during that time, living as his pet, he's got no idea whether his family is safe or not, and consequently upon his release he discovers that his family have been executed. And then you cut to 15 years later in Israel in a mental institution where Adam is being treated. This also stars Sir Derek Jacobi as Dr. Nathan Gross, who is attempting to help Adam. Directed by Paul Schrader, who's a fantastic screenwriter. He's responsible for Taxi Driver as well as Mosquito Coast and The Last Temptation of Christ. As well as directing Blue Collar and The Walker. It's got a runtime of 106 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So inside we have a white disc. So that was Adam Resurrected. Thank you so much, Phil. I know you said this was quite an unusual watch, but I shall give it a view and see what I think. And also, Alienist looks absolutely fantastic. You, mate, are a star. Okay, on to new releases this week. First one to show you is The Boys Season 3. Now, I'm not going to go too much into spoiler territory. I'm just going to say that they cover a lot of ground in this season. The playing field is leveled some way, thanks to a new 10th compound. There is a credible threat to Homelander. That's pretty much what I'm going to say. If you've seen the other seasons, then you're going to absolutely love this one. There is a new face in this season, played by Jensen Eccles, and that is Soldier Boy. Now, he could be just what Butcher is looking for to solve his problem. Possibly. I'm not going to go into any of that territory. There is a scene with the Deep eating a live octopus, which is pretty uncomfortable to watch, so you've been warned. So much going on in a season, despite only consisting of eight episodes. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this show, this is going to sound like a load of old drivel. You're not going to know what I'm talking about, but I cannot recommend this enough. Homelander is by far the most disturbing character on TV at the moment. He is a psychotic Superman, pure and simple. This season aired June the 3rd, 2022, through to July the 8th. So it's taken quite a while to get it released, but this is a world's first release of this season. It's got a runtime of 502 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So inside there are two discs and each one has the same image of Homelander and Butcher. So that was The Boys Season 3. Next title is Violet Night. This is a Christmas action movie from the director of a film I've just actually ordered called What Happened to Monday, Tommy Wakola, And this stars David Arbour as the big cheese himself, Santa Claus. Somewhat unorthodox Santa Claus, but Santa all the same. Now during the night of Christmas Eve, Santa's doing the thing he does, deliver gifts, when he happens across a situation at the Lightstone Estate. A group of ruthless mercenaries have taken a family hostage, the leader of which is John Legazamo's character, Scrooge. He's not a fan of Christmas, hence the name, I guess. This also stars Beverly Angelo as Gertrude. She is the owner of the, the mansion that this all takes place in, and her family have to have come over for the Christmas celebrations. Music in this is from a London-based composer called Dominic Lewis, whose works include Kingsman, Bullet Train, and Spirited. 
It's got a runtime of 112 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So Violent Night comes in one of those slim cases. The image on the disc there is the same as the one on the back cover. So inside you have one of those double eco cases. So they're not really saving the planet because that's going to go in the bin. I'm going to get one that's a little bit sturdier to replace it. So that was David Arbour in Violent Night. Okay, next two titles, both Jerry Lewis films. First one I'm going to show you is Who's Mind in the Store. It's a comedy from 1963. In this, Jerry is playing a dog walker called Norman Pfeiffer. He's in love with a girl called Barbara, played by ex-bond girl Jill St. John. Unbeknownst to him, she's an heiress to a fortune. And unfortunately, Barbara's mother, Phoebe, played by Angus Moorhead. Angus, by the way, was Endora in the TV show Bewitched. She disapproves of Norman, the fact that he's poor and unworthy of a daughter. So she sets about trying to break him up by giving Norman a menial job in one of her stores and in turn giving him jobs that he's sure to fail at. Obviously, it's a Jerry Lewis film, which means it usually comes through in the end and all works out for the best. Also has an uncredited role from the Highlander himself, Christopher Lambert, who was just six years old at the time. This film is one with the imaginary typewriter scene, pure comic genius. Go and check that out. It's got a runtime of 90 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So inside, the front cover artwork has been put onto the disc. And there is a reversible cover with the age logo removed from the back for some reason. So that was Jerry Lewis in Who's Minding the Store. Okay, next and last, another Jerry Lewis movie is Rockabye Baby. It's a comedy made five years before Who's Mind in the Store in 1958. And in this one, Jerry is playing Clayton Pohl. He's a TV repairman as he was in It's Only Money. And oddly enough, it's from the same director of all three Jerry Lewis films, Frank Tashlin. They made eight films together in total, in case you're wondering. So in this, the story sees an actress called Carla Naples, played by Marilyn Maxwell. She is eloping and getting married to a bullfighter called Carlos, who soon dies during a bullfight, leaving her pregnant with triplets. Now, to avoid the scandal, she returns home to a town of Midvale in Indiana and palms them off with her childhood sweetheart, Clayton, who still holds a candle to her. Carla's sister Sandra, played by Connie Stevens, is secretly in love with Clayton, but as I mentioned before, Clayton still believes that he's in love with Carla. So you guessed it, it's all going to work out in the end and everyone ends up who they're destined to be with. Jerry Lewis's son Gary makes an appearance as a young Clayton Paul. He was 12 years old at the time of filming and this has got a runtime of 103 minutes. Let's take a look inside. So you've got the image there from the front cover put onto the disc. I do like these Signal 1 releases. They're putting out some fantastic films and brilliant quality. And again, there's a reversible cover with the age logo removed from the back. So that was Jerry Lewis in Rockabye Baby. Okay, before I go, thank you again to Phil 4K Baker for sending me those two fantastic titles. As I said before, mate, you are a star. Thank you. And also, I picked up, almost forgot, these two cushions from HMV celebrating the 100 year anniversary, a couple of years out now, 2021. These are the last two they had in Brighton. They came to the massive price of, I think, £1.25 each. So if you've got any in your store, pick them up. Well worth it. Really nice as well. Nice and comfy. Anyway, so that is it. Have you seen any of those titles or plan to pick them up or just want to leave a comment and do so down below and I'll get back to you if I have the time. Definitely read every one. Anyway, give the video a thumbs up. Really does help the channel and subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. Why wouldn't you? And on that note, all that's left to say is thank you so much for choosing my channel today and watching my video. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.